Hello and welcome to Back Gaming. In my tutorial how to make an object tuning map the easy way, I explained how to change the all round behavior and interaction of an object. In this tutorial I'm going to learn you how to make an object tuning mod with more detailed possibilities. We're going to use the same object as in my first tuning tutorial, but this time the other way around. So that we will end with a bin you can pee in, and besides that make it so that only males can use it and delete some other options we don't need to. The things we need to make this are the game The Sims 4 and The Sims 4 Studio. For download links look down below in the description. First open The Sims 4 Studio, then fill in your creator name, go to the object section, select standalone recolor and click on object. Now as we're going to use the same object as in my other tuning tutorial, go to the search bar, fill in 9183, click the object and then click next to make it into its own package file. Then give it a name and click save. Now in the following window give your object a name and description and change the price if you want. After that click on the warehouse tab. Now in the warehouse click on tools and after that on extract tuning. In the next window we need to find the tuning file of the toilet we also used in the other tutorial. To make things easy you can use the search bar and copy the tuning line I provided down below in the description. Paste it into the search bar, click on the tuning line and then click add to current package before closing the window. Now scroll all the way down and see there is a line called object tuning added to the warehouse. Click that line and after that click on data. Now we're going to give this tuning file a new name. EA has suggested to name it using our creator name followed by a colon and then the name of the item. So in my case that will be Backy Gaming Colon Tutorial Tuning Moderate Toilet, but you can name it whatever you want as long as it starts with your creator name followed by the column. After you named it and hit it enter to save it, you will see that the tuning ID will change automatically too. After this go to the XML tab and scroll all the way down till you see a line called Super Affordances. It's the line right here. This is the place where we're going to delete some options we don't need on our object. Now as I'm going to make this object only usable by men, we're going to delete the option Toilet Use Sitting. To do this, select the line and press Delete or Backspace. After this, press Delete 5 more times, so there's no open space left. Now repeat this process for all options you want to be removed from your object. I'm going to delete options like Toilet Flush, Flush Broken, Pre-Flush and Pregnancy Test 2 as I don't want these. After you've deleted them and cleared the open spaces, click Save and OK. Now the only things left to do is telling our object to use this new tuning file instead of the original trash tuning and give our object the right tags. To start with the first thing, copy your tuning name and tuning ID that can be found in the data tab to the tuning and tuning ID lines found in the object definition resource. You can save the file now before changing the tags. Then to change the tags go to studio, click on tags, then go to appliances and uncheck everything. Then go to function, then uncheck baby and check bladder. Scroll a bit down, go to plumbing and check toilet. After this, save your package file, move it into your mods folder and then test it out in-game. In-game you can find your object easily by typing a part of the object's name into the search bar or go to toilets if you tagged your object right. Once placed, get a male sim to pee in it and a female sim to check that she isn't able to use the bin as a toilet. You can also edit the trash texture to make it look like it's soaked with urine. Well, this is the end of my tutorial. If you liked it and want to support me and the modeling community, please give it a like and share it so more people will be able to find it. If you still have questions, please ask them below in the comments. More tutorials will come, so if you don't want to miss them, then subscribe. Have fun making your own object tuning files and see you next time here on Baki Gaming.